Hello everyone. Just want to start off with this video by saying, I swear to Bob I've done this video before. I swear to Bob I've read these before. But I went through my channel and I couldn't find any of the things that I'm about to talk about in my videos. So maybe I just missed it or I started recording it and then I got disrupted and had to cancel it. Or maybe I already recorded it, already edited it, and it's sitting somewhere on one of my hard drives. But I've checked, because I always keep everything in one of two folders. Stuff I've already used, and stuff I haven't used. And I've looked in both. And it's not in either of those. So I don't know why these things are so familiar. Maybe it's just because DSP says and does a lot of the same shit over and over and over again. But, since I'm pretty sure I've already done it, I'm not going to do this for a live stream. After this, there will be a live stream. I promise. I swear to Bob there will be. But... Phil is making this game less watchable than he normally does. He's reading messages going on rants about them. He has become what he has hated. For those of you who go, I'm going to watch ads on Twitch and then use the bits I get from that to throw money at him. You don't have to do that. All you got to do is say something that he thinks is a meme or a detractor point or something that he thinks is an insult. And he will go off on a 10 minute rant. Hi Mr. DSB. Here's five dollars. What do you think about the game so far? Uh, I, I haven't been to game yet. I, I don't have any opinion. For absolutely free. Hey, Mr. Dave. How's it going, Dave? Are you enjoying the game, Dave? My name's not Dave. Rawr! Ten minutes later. God, ban. Duh. I can't believe you would call me Dave. My name's not Dave. You can get a lot more money for your mileage when you don't spend anything and just call him stuff like Dave or Piggy or just anything that he thinks is a detractor meme. It's hilarious how easily triggered he is. Anyone know what is the current allowed subject in chat? Did he seriously ban that? Personally? Yes. Someone's asking, alright, what can we talk about? Banned. And I just buy a mod. Not by Nightbot, no. By DSP himself. Holy fuck, I mean, I've heard of thin skin, but how thin does your skin have to be where someone asks, huh, what can we talk about in chat? Oh, guys, I gotta, I gotta stop gameplay. I know I'm in the middle of a boss fight. I'm probably gonna get killed now because I'm gonna stop in the middle of a boss fight, but BAN! Are you kidding me? What a bitch. Bitching about why people won't interact with him. You have to interact with me or else it's not going to work. It's just not going to. He means, you have to give me money or else I have to work and I'm just not going to work. <laughs> How bad of a streamer do you have to be where people have to interact with you? And that, let's just say, all right, let's cut out the money part. Let's say he seriously meant you guys have to interact with me. At this point, either he meant hand-holding because he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, I've played this game twice already. I'm playing it for a third time. I have no idea what I'm doing. You might want to go see a doctor about that memory, dude, because that's kind of bad. I played Mirror's Edge. Never beat it. Two, maybe three years later, it's like, no, I don't think I ever played it, and I don't know where I'm at. I'll just start at the beginning. I remember this thing. I remember that thing. Oh, you'd run up here, do this, bam, bam, bam. Done. Just to find out I was like half an hour away from being the fucking game. Are you me? If I had played the game a half hour longer, I would have beaten the damn thing. Are you fucking kidding me? God, that was so annoying when I realized that. I was like, really? I had like half an hour to go before I beat this game. And I remembered that because my memory's not that shitty. I played it once. Two years later, I'm playing it again. And like, oh, you run here. You jump there. Go there. This is the cutscene that happens here. Oh, here's where you grab this. Like, I didn't forget any of that. Ah, how can a guy play a game twice, goes to play it a third time, and then chat, hold my hand, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't remember. And of course, he's constantly looking up guides, whether on YouTube or on GameFAQs or whatever, he's looking up guides because he sucks that much at a game he's already played and beaten twice. But of course, we all know he meant money. Throw me money or it's not going to work, bitch. Phil won't play Battlefield 5 with Wings of Redemption because he never received an email. He even stated that, oh, it went to my spam folder. Then check your spam folder, dick. Both of them played it alone. 
Both of them hated it, and both of them deleted it. Is the game bad? Is it good? I don't know, but don't watch DSP or Wings of Redemption play it because they suck. Then Wings of Redemption, well, what was his? He was playing Spider Man, one of the biggest games of the year. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't like this game because I'm not making enough money. People aren't throwing as much money as I hoped they would. I need to make at least one hundred twenty dollars to make my money back. Wait, 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 wait! You need to make one hundred twenty to make your money back. The game costs sixty. What are you doing where you need one hundred twenty dollars to pay off a sixty dollar game? Anyways, <clears throat> someone just said on stream that Wings said he was gonna re email, re email him. DSP is like, nah, dude, I'm gonna play alone. DSP, a, he hates people. That's why he locks himself up in his palace all day. B, knows that Wings of Redemption, as much as a piece of shit as he is, is more entertaining. If he plays with DS, if DSP plays with Wings of Redemption, DSP's pay piggies may go, huh, that guy's more entertaining, and go to him, thus costing DSP more money. Third, Wings of Redemption's trolls, holy shit, they're hardcore. Like, oh, I'm a DSP detractor. I'm going to make a psych account on Twitter and just post a gif of him jerking off on every post. Wings of Redemption's trolls, detractors, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a tad more hardcore than that. And I don't think DSP would be able to handle that, so. That's actually a pretty good move. Like, yeah, I can't handle his psycho detractors. I'll just keep with mine that just make fun of me. Pointing out the obvious is, ah, equals band. Phil, you seem to be a little irritated today. Band. Dark side Phil, why do you sound angry today? Band. I mean, yeah, all right, you don't want people insulting you, whatever, but they're not, just like with the guy asking what topics are okay to talk about, they're not insulting him. They're just asking, hey man, what's up? What, what do you, why are you irritated? Why are you angry? What happened? Bam, 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 bam. Why won't my viewer count grow, dude? My viewer count won't grow, dude. Because you just banned everyone. Kind of hard to have viewer count grow when you ban everyone. <whistles> Hello, Croft. Phil is mad. People didn't like Dragon Quest and we're talking about other things in the game. Insert me, re joke here. He can't stand being ignored. For someone who hates people so much, when people ignore him, he sure gets pissy. Dude, you're supposed to be talking about me. Re. <laughs> oh, it was during the World Cup. You can't talk about the World Cup. I don't know anything about soccer, dude. Ban, ban, ban. Oh, football season. Ban, ban, ban. Oh, uh, Papa John just got dropped from P from NFL. Ban, ban, ban. Unless you're throwing money at him, don't you dare talk about anything in chat. I wonder if he'd get pissy if, like, all right, we're going to talk about the World Cup. But every single post made about the World Cup had a quarter attached to it. Would he be so band happy? Would he go, oh, uh, uh, wow, that, that, there's a lot of quarters being thrown at me as everyone's talking about the World Cup. But uh, 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 this is a fun and ex interacting chat, so I'll let it go. As long as you keep throwing quarters at me. Probably. I'm a bit overwhelmed by the positivity of the game, Spider-Man. Apparently, if you think a superhero game is good, it's because there haven't been many recently. I'm not even sure what he's talking about. The Arkham games, Injustice, the Lego Marvel superheroes games, more superhero themed since it's Lego, but I still count it. We've come a long way since the infamy of Superman 64, but considering this is Dave, what would anyone play games more than a year old, Burnell? He loves to play games that are more than a year old. As long as it's a game he's already played. And already beaten. And the check and stance can sit there and tell him how to beat the game again. These games have like the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne. That's not him playing the game. It's the chat playing the game. Him just doing what they tell him to do. Which is kind of sad. A lot of live streamers, like, they'll have the rules up. And when the rules is, no hand-holding. Don't tell me. And yet... He has straight up said, when people complain about him being handheld by the chat, Dudes, it's the 2018. This is how live streams are done nowadays. No, it's not. You're literally the only one who does it. But dude, if I do it, that means everyone's doing it, right? No. 
piece of shit. Also, people knew the Spider-Man game was going to be pretty good. Even if it was just a Spider-Man clone of Batman Arkham series. Those are great games. So guess what? This is going to be a good game. From what I've heard, there's some bugs here and there still. And some of the side missions are going to be repetitive. But overall, it's a great game. It's an 8 out of 10 easy. Here we go. It looks like someone else's face. You don't make them. It's a guy on YouTube. Oh, talking about the fan art that looks nothing like him. Oh, shit. Obi-Wan Kenobi's back. I'm back, bitches. He, he's already been banned, though. I, I love that. He comes back just to get banned again. When you're a piece of shit like him, is it really that surprising? Not really. Left my ass off. He just admitted his viewers are a bunch of kids, and that's why they don't like JRPG games. See, I know for a fact I talked about this. Maybe it was someone else's post, but I know for a fact I talked about this. Where he cried that, The reason people don't watch me play Dragon Quest is because they're all 12 years old, and 12-year-olds don't like JRPGs. But he's not a children's entertainer. He just likes to jerk off in front of a bunch of 12-year-olds. Dude, it wasn't a bunch of kids. Uh, only adults watch my content. Oh, wait, only kids watch his content. That's why they don't show up for Dragon Quest, because they think Dragon Quest is boring. Once again, Dave, it's not the game. It's the person. You have these people who are entertaining playing... Fuck, the one guy just like s just sat there like he was doing his normal stuff. Like, all right, going to go to Facebook, going to go to Twitter. All right, I'm going to check out this main page. I'm going to go over to this website. And people watch and threw money at him because he's entertaining. He's trying to bait cheers. Yeah, he's misspelled bait. And tits by not ending the pressure now. He's done this multiple times of, guys, I don't like video games. I hate playing video games. Give me more money. Please, I don't want to play the game. Mind you, his entire job is playing video games. But he hates playing video games. So anything that makes him play video games, he hates. Which is why his pre-streams are always two, three hours long. Because he doesn't want to play the damn game. Do you want to play the fucking game? Not Dave Brunel. Been busy with school. Anything interesting happened with Teflon Khan lately? Last night that Tud dude gifted dozens of subs. This is before he gifted hundreds. I stayed away from DSP stream today. Sometimes it's best to err on the side of mental health and I can't stand his voice right now. Yeah, there's been a lot of people saying they're getting burnt out on him because it's just amazing what the pig roach is up to. And how... Oh no, Seidel has been banned. Oh no, Emperor Swaggins isn't giving us much money. And here comes Tut with the save. 500 plus gifted subs. $2,200 in one single stream. Not counting all the hundreds of dollars he's thrown after that. But dude, he's broke. He's probably made three, no, let's see. 500 times 250. Be 1250 plus 2200. Then all that. So he's oh he's probably made almost four thousand dollars just off of Tut. Four thousand dollars just off of Tut. And yet he's still broke. He still can't pay his bills. My bills. Right, you piece of shit. Ah. <sighs> so yeah, guys, if I've already covered all this before, I just couldn't find the video or whatever. Sorry, but Thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs> As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.